Tomorrow is the big day. The Winter Olympics start tomorrow. For the last 99 days, the Olympic torch has been making its way through South Korea before it reaches its final destination at the opening ceremony. Today, the flame stopped in Jongson, where it traveled by zip line to the train. And although the games start on Thursday, the opening ceremony isn't until Friday. So there are still a few more stops to make it in the next two days. Meanwhile, in Pyeongchang, one tradition is already underway, and that is pin trading. This is a time where avid collectors get to meet and trade with others that share their same love of the games. This year, the most coveted pin will be from the North Korean team, if they offer one. This year, updated doping control kits will be used at the games. They were made by a Swiss manufacturer. Experts revised a former model to prevent samples from being tampered with. And this year, Team USA is heading to Pyeongchang with the largest squad any nation has ever taken to a Winter Olympics. Mark Barger shows us some of the athletes we need to keep an eye on. Whether it's on ice or snow, Team USA carries high hopes into Pyeongchang. Oh boy, he is going for the win. I, I want to win just as bad as I've ever felt. Oh boy. Two-time gold medal snowboarder Sean White's looking for more Olympic glory. So is ski legend Lindsey Vaughn, sidelined by injury four years ago. I love the Olympics. I love what they stand for. The four-time Olympians among 37 on this squad who already have medals, including Michaela Schifrin, who won slalom gold in Sochi. Having a gold medal already is a, a bit more fuel. It's motivation for sure. Michaela Schifrin was an Olympics rookie four years ago. This time, Team USA is bringing more than 100 first-timers here to South Korea. One of them is 17-year-old snowboarder Chloe Kim, a medal favorite whose parents were born in South Korea. There's so many stories about the Olympics that I've heard from my peers, and now I get to go be there. Also experiencing it, seven sets of Olympic siblings including ice dancers Maya and Alex Shibutani, and curlers Becca and Matt Hamilton. The second mixed doubles was going to be a thing. I was like, I'm going to play with my little sister because she's the best. She's awesome, and I, I hope she thought the same thing. <laughs> it's Bo and Bergsma. Speed skating offers strong medal possibilities for Heather Bergsma and Brittany Bo, while Aaron Jackson and teenager Mame Viney are the first black female skaters to make the squad. I am just so happy right now. Figure skater Nathan Chin's the only man ever to hit a five quadruple jump performance. Doing it again could put him atop the medal stand. I can't even imagine what it would be like for myself to be up there. Give it to us, Nathan. But Chin and the other members of Team USA are eager to find out. Mark Barger, NBC News, Pyeongchang, South Korea. With each passing day, the excitement and anticipation for the 2018 Winter Olympic Games grows, ultimately reaching its peak when the event kicks off. February 9th's opening ceremony will be watched by millions around the world, including two Tucson Olympians who competed in previous years. They spoke with us about that experience and I'll have their stories tonight, new at 6. And don't forget you can catch all the Olympic action right here on NBC starting tomorrow. You can also find more coverage on our website, KVOA.